Hi guys, in this video I'm going to be prepping myself for a game of Warhammer Fantasy. Scruffy Crow! So, uh, someone reached out on my local Facebook group for uh, the Bedford Weird Boys uh, looking for a game of Warhammer uh, and I was pretty keen to get involved. I've not played a game in probably the best part of a year if not over a year. Um, so it's pretty excited to get rolling some dice again. Problem was, I've not played Warhammer in much longer than that. Uh, probably the best part of almost 10 years. So my first job was to write a new army list. Um, I kind of had a look at some old army lists that I wrote ages ago, but hardly any of it made sense to me. It's been a long while since I've looked at this stuff. Uh, so I kind of did it sort of half looking at what I had ready and what the least bad paint jobs were and... Um, you know what I could remember and what also I could just fit into 1500 points which isn't too easy because uh, I've chosen Warriors of Chaos. So here's the first iteration of the list and after some feedback from the Discord group which you can join down in the comments uh, they suggested that maybe I went for uh, dropping the Forsaken and picking up a Sorcerer. I hate taking a Sorcerer in a Corn Army uh, but it's the only way I get some Dispel Dice so it made sense. Okay so I've dug out the case and I'm picking through trying to find the models I want. These are my Forsaken. They're inspired by one of the models from the Storm of Chaos expansion. It always kind of surprises me that I always think this army is quite big, but this case generally has less in it than I remember. Uh, but it's still a sizable army in here. And even though some of these models haven't been touched in oh, years, there's still plenty of unpainted stuff here, annoyingly. But yeah, as I said, someone on my Discord suggested maybe I I did need the hounds and maybe to drop the um, Forsaken. So I do have a couple of hounds painted. These are the old Mordheim ones. Uh, but I could probably do with another uh, five, six, seven, eight. So, uh, so yeah, I found a selection of... These are probably my favourite set of Chaos Hounds. So I've got a full set of those. And then a couple of the older ones. Got one that was missing a leg. I've had to re-sculpt. Might as well throw that into this project. Got the double-headed variant. Yeah, and then we've had to double up on that one. But mixing those with the Mordheim ones means that we've got very few du duplicates. So that's going to be cool. The hands are all based up and almost ready for some paint. There's just a few little spots that I want to green stuff. And the rest of the army is going to look a bit more like this. I'm going to replace this standard bearer with this guy here, because uh, he needs a little bit less work to get him tabletop ready. He's just normally the uh, banner bearer from my unit of Chosen. We've swapped the Juggernaut Rider out for this Demon Prince. This guy's got his own video. He did him fairly recently on the channel. I'm going to go for the Sorcerer on foot. So just those eight hounds to finish off. And it's Sunday now and my game's on Friday. So that gives me four days to try and get some paint on those hounds. Okay, so the uh, hounds have all been given a blast of Halford's Black. Uh, and they are looking nicely covered. I'm going to give them all a pretty simple paint job. Uh, even though there's a few different sort of styles of sculpts, we've got a scaly one, uh, this one with a sort of scorpion tail, and then the slightly newer ones here. Uh, I'm still going to do them all more or less the same scheme. And that's going to be more or less like this to match the ones that I've already got. And I might actually touch up these a little bit, make some changes. Uh, so I'll be painting all ten at once. Painting them all the same scheme will achieve two things. One, it'll give the unit a more sort of cohesive look and two, it will speed up the time it takes to paint. I've also brought this guy over to my painting desk. Uh, his snow has gone a bit discolored. I used to use icing sugar and PVA and some white paint, uh, but apparently that doesn't age too well. And actually in general, this paint job's looking a little bit drab. Um, and if I get time, I feel like there's a few things I could do to improve that. While the wash was drying on the hounds, I've done a little bit of work on the guy. I have neatened up with a bit of sandry dust 
any skulls, horns, all those bits. Uh, gone round, touched up all the leather with a, a plain XV88. Uh, picked out some details I didn't last time. I can't remember when I painted this or started painting this. Uh, and then giving them a pretty much all over wash with Agrox Earthshade. Uh, now, he looks better to my eyes than he does in through the camera. Um, but once that's dried, I think we're going to end up with a much crisper looking model to start with. And then I'll go back in and I'll brighten up all those reds. Okay, so it's the night of the game. It's Friday night right now. And I have not quite finished painting the hounds. Uh, I want to do some red, especially on that one. And the one with the scorpion tail. Uh, and there's a few more bits. Like anywhere they're missing flesh. I was going to... Oh, and I've made a big splodge there in my haste. Uh, yeah, they definitely need neatening up. And places like that, I was going to put some uh, clear red. Um, but I think they are. They're tabletop ready. I said this is the final iteration of the army list. It's then it took me some time to find a pair of tape measures because I hate sharing one. So taking two is always worthwhile, I feel. And to finally find my Warhammer slash Kings of War dice bag. I bought these nice little Chessex uh, dice when I first started playing Warhammer. Uh, so they are my Warhammer dice. But we've got some other bits and pieces in here for like tracking wounds and uh, this has also got my tokens in it for when I'm playing my goblins in uh, Kings of War. And in case you thought I forgot, we need the rule book. I've got my army book and a copy of Oathmark, just in case I can do any conversions while I'm out there. It's about, the actual unit is 308 So we uh, ended up picking a scenario, I can't remember the name off the top of my head, but uh, that meant you set up randomly. And this is how we ended up setting out. As you can see, my troops are spread pretty thinly across this one side. And we've got some Skaven, a uh, Doom Wheel in one corner, and there's a large Screaming Bell Death Star in the other corner. That's where the majority of his points were. In the first couple of turns, my plan was to try and hold his army uh, in this gap, uh, so the Death Star couldn't get round, uh, and then mop up his Doom Wheel with these knights and the demon prince uh, while giving the rest of my army chance to sneak around the side and finish off that death star and the plan somewhat worked i managed to hold the uh, half of the skaven army back uh, only for the rest of my army to be wiped out by the doom wheel like wow that thing was powerful <laughs> overall it was a pretty fun game uh, it was great just to be out at the club again uh, rolling some dice as i said it's uh been a while however it did remind me of some of the things uh, that put me off eighth edition uh, big death stars for instance reminds me of that one or uh, you know a slant surrounded by temple guard or the big vampire units that i've seen um yeah that wasn't great fun um some of the other sort of clunkiness uh, of eighth the way the magic worked um you know the weapon skill tables and stuff eventually they started coming back to me because obviously i played these games for years but it's been a long while so although it was a fun game and it was nice to get my chaos warriors on the table again it's probably not something i'm going to be wanting to play on the regular i'd probably rather go sixth edition um which i think i preferred personally or obviously something a bit more modern like oathmark would probably might still be my go-to and playing eighth again helped me realize some of the reasons why i like oathmark so much and warlords of Erewhon. um they are superior rules. Having said that, it was still, as I said, a fun game. And if eighth's the only games that I'd get, then I'm happy to keep playing just to get some models out on the table and me out of the house. <laughs> and that's all for this video. And Please let I me know what you thought down in the comments. Not uh, maybe subscribe for more. Hands. And as ever, thanks for watching. Bye.